Hey what's up guys welcome to another video so finally Nokia has unveiled their first ever 5G smartphone now it certainly took a while but HMD is finally ready to release its first 5G smartphone meanwhile the company also unveiled two entry level models for the budget conscious the Nokia 8.3 5G is an HMD first ever 5G smartphone and a phone that was announced a half year ago but its launch got delayed the wait is almost over though and it will be available tomorrow in the US for a price tag of $700 with an 8GB and 128GB configuration. Other configuration which are included in the device is going to be a 6.8 inch of IPS LCD panel with a 1080p resolution. The front of the device is coming with a punch hole camera card present on the top left corner of the device with a 24 megapixel of a selfie camera that can record 1080p video recording. On the back side we have a circular camera bump of the device and it is coming with a quad camera setup in which the main camera is going to be 64 megapixel 12 megapixel is the ultra wide camera 2 megapixel is the macro lens and the 2 megapixel of depth sensing camera it can record 4k videos at 30 frames per second and 1080p video at 30 frames per second internally the device is coming with a snapdragon 765g chipset which is going to be an impressive chipset because it's going to be a good average device for gaming and also it is going to handle the heavy task quite easily in terms of ram it is coming with two different variants one is going to be 6 gb and 64 gb of internal storage and the other one is 8 gb and 128 gb of internal storage the battery capacity which is coming inside the device is going to be 4500 milliamp power with a fast charging support of 18 watt it seems that the phone will finally be available in Europe as well and looking at the Belgium retailer it will cost you around 580 euros HMD says that the global average price for the device is going to be 600 euros which includes a 6 month of Google One 100 GB of cloud storage. In case you have missed it, the Nokia 813 will star in the upcoming Bond film No Time to Die. So overall I believe that this device is going to be on an expensive side and as you know that Samsung is going to be holding their event tomorrow on September 23 where they will give where they will be going to announce their Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition and that device is going to cost you around 700 euros but it's coming with 120 hertz of refresh rate inside with a big battery and a better camera sensor than the Nokia devices so I personally feel that this device is more expensive and you should go towards the Samsung S20 Fan Edition if you want to have a device which is good and value for money. So guys, what are your opinion regarding that device? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you are new here, do consider subscribing to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.